Part 4 is now in session my just collection we last talked up with Elmo's World Wild Wild West. Let's continue on. Next, it's the 1998 we just of M&R's Jug Band Christmas, which I got for Christmas back in 2013. It's a Toe Tavern Christmas in Frogtown Hollow. It's a front, side to of Kermit. Back, seems but no critic review. There's your side to of the Otter. Here's the top. It's a tape with a sticker label. The week in your code is the 44th week of 2003, so this is a reprint. But I had, well, I checked, had previews from the 1998 VHS. Next is the 2001 VHS of the Emperor's New Groove. Which I got in 2009. It's Team Jack Certified. It's a front. Sacrifice Cusco. Back scenes. The Groovies Amy Trimpson's since Aladdin says USA Today. It includes Sting music video featuring the song My Funny Friend Me as featured on the Emperor's New Groove soundtrack. It's a tape with an ink label. Print dates April 6, 2001. Next is the 2000 being just an extremely goofy movie which I got as a Christmas, uh, as a birthday gift back for my 14th birthday back in January of 2013. It's a front. Psych about Goofy. Back scenes. A feel good laugh along where it says Michael Trotman Family Fun Magazine. And kids, Goofiest Jokes Bonus Program. Laugh along as kids perform their Goofiest Stand Up Comedy. So that's shown at the end of this tape. S tape with an ink label. Print dates January 19th, 2000. State, states print six days before my first birthday. Next is Finding Nemo 2003 VHS, which I got in December of 2009. This is one of the year's best films since Joel Seale, Good Morning America. It's a front, a side of Marlon and Dory. Back scenes, hilarious and poignant, says David Nash of Newsweek. And the bonus teacher is discovering the classic fiction made short knickknack and it's THX Cert and it's THX Certify. It's a tape with an ink limo in the blue and black reels. Print date September 10th, 2003. It's a tape's printed a day before John Ritter died. Rest in peace to him. Next is the 1994 V, just the Flintstones. It's the live action film with John Good, Rick Moranis, Elizabeth Perkins, and Rosie O'Donnell. It says Yabba, Yabba Dabba Doo. So for, yeah, I got this back in April of 2015. It's so the front, side, back, scenes. The Flintstones is fun says Time Magazine. Prehistorical, hysterical, great fun says Joel Seal, Good Morning America. Here's the other side. Here's the top. It's a tape with a sticker label. The Wheaton Year Code's the 40th week in 1994. Next is the 1998 VHS of Flubbers with Robin Moons, as you all know. And yes, may Rob may Rob was rest in peace. And I got this tape back from my help, ninth grade help teacher back in the summer of 2015. So front, side, back scenes. Outrageously funny says, WBI Radio of New York. It's a tape with an ink label. This was a formal rental from some video store in Akron, Ohio, and, and I did peel that sticker off because I don't like stickers on VHS tapes. Print dates March 5th, 1998. Next is the 1994 VHS of Follow That Bird or Sesame Street Presents Follow That Bird. I consider this film Follow That Bird. It's the first Sesame Street movie ever. We got this back in April of 2015. It's a front. 
Sacrifice Big Bird pack scenes. A movie the whole family can enjoy it says Family Circle. Tape with a vertical sticker label. Print dates March 4th, 1980. Printed the day after the Flubber VHS tape. And this tape's obviously a reprint. Next is the 1994 VHS of the Fox and the Hound, which I got back in the game in 2009 for my aunt. It's the original anime classic. This copy does not have the Return to Far preview. It's the front. Side can file Todd. Back scenes. Superior landmark Disney film says Joe Seal Gorn America. It's a tape with an ink label. Print dates January 26, 1994. It's printed the day after my birthday, but I wasn't born in 1994. Next is is Fred Rogers, America's Favorite Neighbor, 2003 VHS. It's hosted by Michael Keaton. Yeah, my mom got this set for me back in, for my birthday last year in January 2017. It's the front side from Mr. Rogers. It's the back, there's a picture no scenes. Here's the top and bottom. Yeah, this is a documentary about his whole life. Start off with tape volume one. It's the front, side, back. It's America's favorite neighbor, and we all have only one life on, to live on Earth. And through television, we have the choice of encouraging ours to demean this life or to church it in creative, imaginative ways, says Fred Rogers himself. Here's the other side. Here's the top. It's a tape of a sticker label. There's no print they are reading your con this tape. Here's volume two of this tape. It's almost the exact same casing, except it's a different color. And it's a different label. And it's got oversized reels. There's no printing once again. Next, the 1993 Beach as a Frost of the Snowman. I, my, one of my dad's workers got this for me back in June of 2012. I think June or May of 2012. And you can tell because it has his name on here. His name was his name is Heath. Heath is his last name. His first name's Tom. And it's told and sold by Jimmy Duran. It's the front. Psyched about Frosty. Back. No scenes. It's the original Holly TV favorite. Here's the other side. Here's the top. It's a tape with a sticker label. It's an Avon copy. It's two per dates. April 3rd, 1993 and September 12th, 1994. Next is the 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS of Fun and Fancy Free, which got from a friend of mine back in June of 2014. It's the front. It's about Mickey Mouse. Back scenes. Mickey was bald and what was Mickey it says Frank Thomas of one of the original animators at the Disney Studios. A special bonus feature, the story behind behind Fun and Fancy Ranch, that's shown at the end. It's a tape with an ink label on the blue end. Print dates February 28, 2002. This is a reprint. When I checked, had previews from the 2000 Gold Classic Collection VHS. Next, the 2004 VHS of Garfield the Movie, which I got back in June of 2014. This is German Funds Up, says Roger Ebert. It's the front, Psycho File Garfield. Back, Scenes, Fun says The Washington Post, and Clever says People. It's a 
tape with a vertical ink label. Got printing visible ink from September 15, 2004. Next is the 1998 VHSF Jerry Scheme, which this tape's extremely rare. It's a Pixar short film and won the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film. It's the front, side, back, no scenes or critic review. It's the other side, there's the top. It's a tape with a sticker label. You can tell this is a rare tape because the lack of film strip in this tape. This is a short tape. Print is the 1950 of 1998. Next is the 1995 VHS of a Goofy movie which I got back on my first day of high school back in August of 2014. It's the front, Psych about Goofy, back scenes, two fun stuff says Cisco and Eber, and loads of fun says the Boston Globe. Tape, which is an easy to find comic, this is the vertical sticker label. I know some copies have the horizontal ink label, but my copy has the vertical sticker label. Print dates July 26, 1995. Next is the 1992 V just the Great Mouse Detective, which I got back in April of 2015. It's the front, side about Basil Illustrate, back, no scenes. Um, it's magic, it says Jewel Seal, ABC TV, and two fun stuff, says Cisco and Ebert. It's a tape with an ink label. Print, print dates April 23rd, 1992. I'm gonna show you one more tape. I'm gonna show you one more tape, and then we'll stop here for this part. And this it's the 1993 we just the Great Muppet Caper, which I got back in December of 2014. It's the front, it's about the Muppets, back scenes, but no critic review. It's a tape with an ink label. Front dates January 20th, 1993. Spring. Five days before my birthday, but I wasn't born in 1903. That's going to do it for part four of my VHS question. Stay tuned for part five.